Well, we continue to hold people in power accountable. Tonight, Western New York is getting $100,000 to beef up security at Jewish centers all over the area. But after the shooting over the weekend at a San Diego synagogue, where is that taxpayer money going and is it enough? Here's two on your sides, Leanne Stuck. Two attacks over the past six months have been geared towards worshipers, not just in America, but also the attacks around the world. We're really concerned. That concern led the Jewish Federation to realize that not all of their houses of worship in Western New York are secure. About 40% of our organizations, particularly some of the synagogues, are woefully under secure in that they don't have cameras, they don't have systems to get in that would provide security yes, to yes. the people who are there. We were able to secure $100,000 for the Buffalo Jewish Federation for security measures at synagogues and other houses of worship throughout Western New York. The Jewish Federation raised $120,000 on their own to ramp up security, which gives them $220,000 for prevention measures. To put in hard security measures, whether it's locks on the doors or cameras or other security measures. And the funding will be used for much more than just stepping up security. It'll also pay for active shooter training courses for the public. Train people throughout the community, regardless of religious background, uh, on security measures to secure houses of worship. But is it enough funding to make an impact? It's hard to know. I think we have enough money in the short term. I think we can do a lot with those resources. The Jewish Federation has hired a security coordinator to focus on how to increase security at houses of worship. We're not immune. It could happen here in Buffalo as well, and we want to be prepared. Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News.